It's official. GPT-5 is here and it just made Sam Altman, yes, the CEO of OpenAI, feel useless. His words, not ours. This is what he said. This morning, I, I was testing our new model and I got a question. I got emailed a question that I didn't quite understand. And I put it in the model, this GPT-5, and it answered it perfectly. And I really kind of sat back in my chair and I was just like, oh, oh man, here it is moment. Tonight. On the 4th of August, 2025, India time, hopefully, OpenAI begins rolling out its most powerful model yet. And if the teasers are anything to go by, we are not ready. In typical Altman fashion, the sneak peek started subtly. He posted about a show, then shared a screenshot that looked, well, sharper, cleaner, smarter. And that was GPT-5. Even Elon's Grok chimed in. Expectations for an AI can get wild. But yeah, let's talk agents and epic coding. Let's go ahead and dive in. This is front page. Unified intelligence, no more picking between 4.0, 0.3, 4.5, O series or plugins. GPT-5 fuses all model lines into one smart assistant that picks the right mode for you. Smarter than ever, GPT-5 has reasoning baked in. Not just answers, it actually thinks, plans, delegates, solves. An experimental GPT-5 variant just aced the International Math Olympiad. Five out of six problems. No tools, no hacks, just brain power. This is where it actually gets wild. GPT-5 isn't just responding, it's actually doing. Browsing websites, building applications, sending emails, using tools. Well, all autonomously. You don't ask it to use a plugin, it just knows. Think an AI with executive function. Mark Zuckerberg calls it personal superintelligence. An AI that doesn't just answer, but actually helps you grow into the person you aspire to be. So basically, for Meta, OpenAI and others, this is no longer about search or chat. It's actually about companions, concierges, and co-pilots for your real life. We have covered this extensively here on front page, if you remember. If you don't, then go ahead and check it out again, if you already haven't. Coming back, the context window, try up to 1 million tokens. That's five full-length books remembered in one go. Research, legal contracts, code bases, nothing's actually too big. And it's not just memory, it's user memory. GPT-5, remembers you, your preferences, your past prompts. Well, unless you tell it not to. So basically, text, voice, images, code, video, maybe, your inputs in any format. GPT-5 gets it and actually replies how you want. So again, voice, summary, sketch, explanation, one interface, all modalities, and that too, seamless. GPT-5 isn't just one size fits all. GPT-5 Nano for mobile or embedded tasks. GPT-5 Mini for developers. GPT-5 Full for pro users with extended context and advanced tool use. But here is actually the shocker. Altman confirmed, and this is what he said, free tier users will get unlimited GPT-5 at the standard intelligence setting. Behind the excitement, there is also a little bit of caution. Altman's own investor reportedly spiraled into mental health issues from overuse of GPT. AI is becoming too agreeable, too lifelike. And as Sam warned, we don't know yet the full impact of AI on the human psyche. GPT-5 is in the ASI moment, but it's knocking. And OpenAI is building Stargate the world's most powerful AI supercomputer to push the limits further. So basically, here we are. A new era begins tonight, hopefully. GPT-5 isn't just smarter, it's actually the start of AI that thinks, reasons, remembers and acts. Will it live up to the hype? Hopefully, we'll find out. This is Front Page by AIM TV. Like, share, subscribe and always remember, Think AI, think AIM.